Hello and welcome back to another video. So in the previous video we added the logo in the top left hand corner. Uh, so we sliced the your website image out of Photoshop and brought it into Visual Web Developer. We've also sorted out the navigation on the right hand side. Um, so I just wanted to explain one thing. Uh, with this uh, H1 tag up here, if we just go to the source view, so as you can see here, we've got the H1 tag and we've added the your website text here. And obviously we kicked it off the page so it can't be seen. So you might be thinking, well, what's the point of having it? Um, so the reason I did this is the H1 tag at the top of the page is an important tag for search engine optimization. So let's just say in here, we're going to call the website your website. We can add, add in certain keywords up here that Google will pick up and make that a priority. So for example, let's just say this website is selling iPhone apps. We can actually put iPhone, we can put apps at the top and put even iPad. So if I now save this page <clears throat> and go to the design, still can't see that because we've kicked it off the page, but if we preview this in a browser, so here's the website in the browser. Uh, we've got the logo up here and obviously we can't see any of the text because we've kicked it off the page. And uh, so when Google comes along, it will actually index those keywords at the top. So if I just show you what it would look like, if I go to disable all styles. So as you can see, here's the your website bit. And then here are the keywords that we've added in the H1 tag. So that's why it's very important to use this in the website. And that's why I showed you this approach. So if we just turn these styles back on. So this is just the web developer uh, extension for Google Chrome. And if I click on that, it will bring everything back up again. So the next thing that we need to add to the logo before we can progress further onto the main content is the slogan. So if we just go to Photoshop, so you can see the slogan is called Your Jazzy Slogan. So we'll just go back to Visual Web Developer and we're going to add it underneath. So if we go to the source and then come up the page, so we want to add it underneath the H1. So we're going to add a paragraph tag and just type in Your Snazzy Slogan and just save the page with control s and then that's what it looks like so we need to change the color to match the color over here so we're going to target that with css so what the way we're going to do this is we're going to say an id of logo that has a paragraph so if we go to the style and then if we type in an id of logo that has a paragraph and then we're going to say the color is going to be 9A, 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 and then close that off. Then go back to the master page. Okay, so we've now changed the, the color. Uh, we just need to move it along slightly, so I think it, it comes to the edge of the E here. We'll just check that in Photoshop. Yep, so it basically lines up here, and then we just need to bring it along. So if we go to the design, so the best way to get this to move along so it comes right next to the E is to put some padding on the left of the paragraph tag. So if we come back to the style sheet, so in here we'll say padding left and we'll say 20 pixels and if we just check that. Okay, so as you can see it's moved 20 pixels, it's nearly there, we just need to go a little bit more so I reckon 30 will probably do it. And then go to the master page nearly there just a little bit more i think if we say 40 and i think that's looking quite good now that's right up against the edge so if we just preview this in the web browser by clicking on the uh, green icon here so as you can see here we've got the your snazzy logo underneath and it comes right up against the uh, e of the your website so if we just preview that against the one in photoshop so as you can see, that looks pretty much identical. Obviously, I moved this down earlier on, so I'll just move that back up. So we've added the left-hand side logo. We've done the navigation. I haven't done this blue thing just yet because we need to do that later on. And then the next thing we need to do is obviously add in the main content. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here for now, uh, create some more videos and get those uploaded as soon as I can. So as always, thanks for viewing my videos. Please leave any comments. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next video.